Hi, Jamie Stenhouse here. I'll be on the online prosperity show and I'll be talking about the upsides of repurposing your content. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the online prosperity show. And today I've brought you the marketing titan himself, Jamie. Jamie, how are you doing, my man? I'm doing very good. Thank you for having me again. Fantastic. Exactly. This is the second time we've had you and this time around is for something totally different just because you've decided to become the next Neil Patel. Now, I'm going to explain why I say that because um, you do understand that every time we are having a show like this, we're bringing in experts in their own realm and people that can actually help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And you do understand that um, if you want to reach your audience, um, on the online space, you need to have great content. And with content uh, being king these days, it's very difficult to always be on top of things, to always be, um, you know, always be producing content. And you do know that content is a valuable part of any marketing strategy. So we've brought in Jamie, who's recently created a new tool that is gonna explain to us the one piece social that is used for repurposing content um, that you would have used. You just do it once and it replicates itself. Now, Jamie, I could go on and on and talk about the benefits um, of content, but I know why not take it from the horse's mouth. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those that are meeting you for the very first time and um, what it is that you actually uh, help people with. Yeah, for sure. So I own a agency. We specialize in essentially generating customers online in any industry and we use that primarily using automation so that agency is is not related to the software company the software company is one piece social as you said and that allows entrepreneurs and content creators to repurpose their content so you can upload a podcast or a interview like this one here and have it turned into an email campaign quote cards, a actual MP3 podcast, and also a blog article as well. So that essentially allows you to create one piece of content every week and have that transferred across multiple platforms automatically. So I guess what I'm doing now and my position with my own companies is the product designer, our team leader, and of course CEO as well. But I'm essentially always seeing what is the other opportunity that we can create a product around to help our clients, if it be under the agency or a whole new company like the software company, I'm consistently trying to improve our, our own products and optimize our team even more. And One Piece Social is a great example of that. Absolutely, absolutely. Because um, like I said earlier on in the introduction, and thank you so much for relaying that to us, Jamie. Now, like I said earlier on in the interview, that content has become king. And you want to make sure you are across all the channels. You want to make sure that you're not spending so much time, um, you know, tweaking, tweeting, or Instagramming, or Snapchatting. But you can just press one button and, um, you know, your content is... Uh, repurpose. Now tell us the actual um, importance of content these days within a social media space, uh, Jamie. I think it's the cornerstone of any brand, of any conversation that leads to someone becoming a client or customer. If we have a look in the offline traditional days, we would always purchase from brands we know I can trust. And this, and this isn't anything brand new. Like We've all heard it for. However, a lot of us are so caught up in trying to close clients that we don't give the process of warming up a prospect enough attention. And this is where content can, can come in to somewhat automate that process, whereby you're helping them to achieve a certain result for free for your content and you're showcasing your expertise that then eventually that person will come through as a prospect or as a lead and it's a lot easier to close them because they've seen your content previously and that can be put for you know instagram youtube articles blogs all that but the more touch points you have and the more opportunities you have for that 
consumer to consume that content how they want to consume it. So if they want to watch it on a YouTube channel, then they can. Or if they like MP3 podcasts, then there's, there's that option too. Or if they prefer little quote cards to be shown to them, there's that option as well. A lot of people tend to think that, well, I'm going to write a, a, a article on my blog and they have to come over and consume that article because that's where I've produced it. And that's a very old school mentality of consuming content because now a prospect should have choice. Whereby, okay, well, it, it is either the article that I can consume, maybe I can watch it in a YouTube video or a MP3 podcast or get little quotable pieces of content through quote cards as well. So I think entrepreneurs have to be more switched on about how they produce content and how they do deliver it to their prospects as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. And you did um, allude to something that is a born of contention, especially these days in the online space, uh, which is the touch points that people have to uh, go through in their customer journey in order to actually make a purchase or make a contact, um, you know, with the service provider. Now I was reading somewhere where it says the touch points have grown from six to 14 um, of I think more than that. I think way more than that. But I, yeah. Right. And, and, and along the way, you need to be having a piece of content, um, you know, that, um, you know, is, 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 is moving the person along with their buyer's journey. Now, if that one piece of content is the same, would that not annoy um, your audience as they, you know, go along and, and get to know, like, and trust you um, with that same sort of one piece of content? Great question. I mean, I think it would if it hasn't got much like a depth to it, but ideally, you know, we get thrown so many pieces of content per day and you, and even if, if you take like Gary V as a prime example, he would film his, his, his daily vlog that goes for half an hour and people would consume that. And then from there, he would take his quote cards and upload them to Instagram, but also do it equally as well. So just because someone is consuming it in one format doesn't mean that you can't take little pieces of, of content of c content from that longer form and repurpose onto other platforms people forget what they saw three days ago right so you might as well utilize that and if, if your content is really good and it is converting quite well as a single piece of content then as soon as you push it out onto other platforms you get the same effect and from that prospect seeing it again and it Again, they'll just get drilled with that same message over and over until they eventually take the action or until they, you know, share it or comment or interact with it even more as well. Absolutely. So I'm actually thinking that we are going to chop up pieces of this video and just leave the parts of me speaking, um, you know, and then <laughs> repurp repurpose those, those pieces. But normally that, uh, you know, involves outsourcing you know you'd want to hire out uh to some graphic designer who lives somewhere far away and does not have an understanding of what you actually want as an outcome now how does one piece social piece it all together and make sure that you get the best outcome of your um you know your content that you wanting to uh repurpose great question so every account that joins up for one piece social has has to go through a very short interactive questionnaire where we learn, okay, what type font do you want to use? What graphics, which quote cards do you like? What industry are you in? What are you trying to sell? Who is your idle client? All of these questionnaires are designed to give us the tools to produce quality graphic quote cards that actually suit your brand and also be able to repurpose and recreate your content for emails and articles too. So we have a very in-depth questionnaire which every account has to go through. And then if you want multiple, I guess, companies using your single account, then you can also create multiple, multiple branding uh, templates for our team as well. So we've already taken that into account and our graphic designs are extremely well trained in this actual process and we've never had a complaint yet touch wood about the quality that we produce for those customers 
Absolutely. Yes, because there's no point in putting up mediocre content out there just for the purpose of uh, repurposing it. Now, there's going to be, you know, a lot of uh, back and forth, really, uh, when it comes to uh, trying to get the right um, graphic or the right video or the right text out there. Um, how do you help um, your clients with actually choosing the uh, best uh, modality that would help them reach their audience or how do you help them in selecting uh, what channel best suits them because you can't be everywhere I agree so this is completely up to the consumer so there's so there's three different entry points for one piece social art but you can upload a actual video like this one here and that will allow us to do everything whereby we can turn it into quote cards articles email campaigns and a podcast. Then the next tier down is, okay, you don't have that, you might have a podcast. Well, let's turn that into an article, email and quote cards. If they don't have that, then they can come in just with a plain article or text or anything that they've pre-written up and we'll turn that into quote cards as well. So it's completely up to them in terms of which channel they want to use, but the channel that they enjoy to create content on most and whichever is easiest for them to create content on start with that one first and then use one piece social to, to fill in the other uh, blanks and the other platforms that you might not enjoy so for me personally I don't enjoy writing articles as much as I used to I would much prefer to create content using my camera and from there I'll use that platform to create the the articles, the emails, and the quote cards from there forward. So to answer your question, I would say begin on whichever platform you enjoy to create and whichever is the quickest, then use One Piece Social Do to kind of cover the actual gaps on the platforms you do not enjoy as much. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, if somebody's watching this right now and is intrigued and interested um, in getting to know more about what you guys can help them do, what's the best way to get a hold of you there, Jamie? The best way, well, there's two ways. The best way would be to go to onepiecesocial.com and create a free account. And if you need anything, hit up the live chat support that comes to me directly. Or the other way is to track me down on Instagram or Facebook. Facebook as well, and I'm more than happy to help out and to help you to get up to speed with the platform as well. Absolutely. Now, you would understand, Jamie, a lot of people um, are off the school that built it and then they will come. What is actually some of the benefits, um, you know, repurposing your content and um, uh, putting yourself out there as a business person, um, you know, in the long run? I think with repurposing content, it frees up your time. That's the number one thing that this platform is designed to do is to free up anywhere between four to 12 hours every week so that you don't have to be spending so much time creating content. Now, with that time free, you do have a lot more opportunity to do more prospecting or create more content to further fuel that. And I think you just need to put yourself out there and we say it to our clients a lot who come on board for the agency is the very first thing we have them do is pretty much ask their email list if they are actually interested in the thing they have to sell. And lo and behold, a lot of them are. And what tends to happen is people just don't put themselves out there. They don't ask for the sale or they don't ask for the sales call. And the moment you begin to put yourself out there, if it be with content, things actually begin to happen. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs slow themselves down by not putting themselves out there enough. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Jamie, I can't thank you enough for your time uh, on the show today. And if you're watching this right now, it's about time you put yourself out there like what Jamie is saying. And you can do that cheaply and easily by actually just repurposing your content. And if you're just joining us right now, uh, repurposing your content is a way of taking whatever piece of content you've created, say this video, and use it uh, in different modalities, either in video, uh, video text, or 
um, a podcast and the guys at One Piece Social are more than happy to take on your content and help you out with that um, so you can enhance your marketing, save you time and help you with your online presence and much, much more. Now, Jamie, I can't thank you enough, my man, for the time you've spent with us today on the show. You're very, very welcome. Anytime. Thank you.